doing a video, replying to my video, saying protein, ape, like, you know, it's good. Shut the f up, bro. It would be one thing if you had organ support too, but then to assert in the marketing, everything you need in one bottle so you can look as good on the inside as you do on the outside. Like, shut the f up, bro. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoredaids.com. Today we're going to be reacting to I'm Back in the Hospital, Another Heart Attack by Cali Muscle. So in this video, it's his uh, first vlog since his you know big transparent reveal of being on gear, of uh, you know his bad eating habits, of what led to his atherosclerosis development and this complete blockage that sent him to the hospital with a heart attack. So now he is, um, you know, obviously in a higher state of risk, having experienced one already, and is kind of on red alert, essentially. So, you know, when something goes off, his heart rate goes up, whatever it is, like, you know, expectedly, he's going to be quite paranoid and, you know, go to the hospital and see what's going on. But in this video, interestingly enough, he not only discusses, you know, changes to his lifestyle and whatnot, but he talks about the, uh, the harm of supplementation. So we're going to get into that and kind of Get my reaction to it. So I'm gonna jump around a little bit, but mainly go to that part. This don't give me, it ain't gonna mess with my stomach, is it? I got stuff to do today, man. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Ginger shot? I don't think so. How many times has that gone off? Hmm. About 10. Okay. Like my heart would just stop. Like my heart was just beating fast, man. 80% of the world die of heart attacks because of their diet. People are trying to go against what I said with protein powders. You mother bro. You know I've talked. I've talked to you. Y'all know, man. Going to that manufacturer, bro. How you go tell people some made in a bottle is actually good for them? Okay, so that's what he just said. He's like, how are you gonna tell the people that something made in a bottle is actually good for them? And he's talking about this protein powder video. So I had, I had not seen the protein powder video, so I went to his Instagram, and it looks like one of his most recent videos, literally before the hospital video. Is is protein powder? It's bad for you. Just like straight up saying it. Here's the video here. And we know it was in protein powder. I was there when I saw. Yeah. It. It's funny when I talk like that. These bots on the internet in the comments section be defending protein powder yeah. as if they got a company or you know what I mean. Like yeah. they defend protein powder, and they ain't never been in the manufacturing building where they make it. How can you defend something? you haven't seen or touched or you know what i mean how can you defend it why the fuck would you need to touch it do i need to drop my ball sack in the protein powder to know what's in it to understand how it works in the body to understand the nutritional value do i need to fucking literally like butt fuck the fucking jug cali muscle like what do you expect me to do bro protein he talked about protein but he got this sub yeah because i know it's in mine i ain't out to kill people for a buck protein powder ain't nothing but they probably take 25 grams of protein. It's only two. Like they'd be doing how these jewelers be doing. Right. You know what I mean? Same shyster, mother Now I can sell. So he's basically asserting that protein spiking is still going on, and perhaps it is. Wouldn't be surprised if it is. However, this is something that, you know, was a big topic of discussion a while ago now, and people got cracked down on for it. So it's like, if any company was doing that now, it's high risk behavior that is not going to get overlooked from a big company at the end of the day. Like the best companies in the industry are adhering to strict quality control procedures and are not trying to skirt around shit by doing stuff like protein spiking, which is what he's asserting. He's asserting you're getting two grams of protein per 25 gram scoop, essentially. Meanwhile, and he's talking about how bad, you know, supplements are in general. Which is fucking ironic as hell, bro. So let's continue. Protein powder. I can sell. We. I can sell everything. But why don't I? Because I want to have some positive honor when I meet my maker. Uh, I go high. Yeah. So asserting that you are going to, you're a dishonorable person if you sell whey protein because you're basically making a buck off people selling bullshit that is killing them. So. Of all of the supplements you could possibly sell in this uh, in the supplement industry, I would say that whey protein is up there as one of the most like obvious go-to like actual efficacious products. Like this is something that truly is the definition of a supplement. It's something that 
You could otherwise have a difficult time getting through your diet. It's something that you otherwise in a time crunch might not have time to sit through and eat a giant bowl of chicken. Or if you're a university student, maybe you don't want to carry fucking five Tupperware containers around with you. Like there's so many good utilities of fucking protein powder. And above and beyond that, it's a highly, it's assimilated so fucking well. And it's such a good way to get your protein intake in per day with something that is high yield and will otherwise net you a greater amount of ultimately muscle protein synthesis relative to other more deficient sources of amino acids at the end of the day. Now, again, obviously there are, you know, micronutrients in other foods that are, you know, make them higher quality on paper in many aspects. But again, you know, it's not, a lot of this is, a, it's the supplement, bro. Like the whole point of using it is because it's supplementing your existing diet. No one's saying replace your entire diet with protein powder. No one's saying that protein powder is superior to fucking red meat. The whole point is that if you want a fast digesting source of high quality protein post-workout, boom, whey protein, easy to mix up. You don't have to fucking microwave a bowl of ground bison in your gym not that you need to have it within five minutes anyways, but let's say you're on the run and you're like driving to fucking work. Do you want to be sitting there eating out of a Tupperware container or even at work? Are you able to literally sit there and eat food with a fork or can you sip something? Like there are, so I don't understand what his fucking point is here. Like, is it just because he doesn't sell it or he actually truly believes it's like one of the most dangerous supplements and you're a piece of shit if you sell it. Like, I don't fucking get it, dude. It's like one of the best sources of fucking high quality protein you could get highly assimilated by the body and it's ultimately even like the cysteine yield given the new restrictions on n-acetyl l-cysteine like it's the easiest most efficient way to restore your cysteine content in the body i believe i did a video on this um let me go check oh yeah so fuck your protein powder i did this video a while back and in here i kind of break down a similar thing where i go through the utility of whey protein and go through some of the some of the literature and whatnot, we can see here, for example, cysteine content per 100 grams in uh, like literally like the top meat sources that are otherwise like very micronutrient dense and seen as like the cream of the crop of fucking foods when it comes to protein. Um, but here, when we have amino acid content of various dietary protein sources in human skeletal muscle, we find that among all the fucking choices per 100 grams of raw material, the cysteine content of whey protein is ultimately the fucking highest by a significant amount. Like if you go to, let's see, where is the breakdown of the aminos? Okay, non-essential amino acids. We have b -b -b cysteine. And you go over to the right side of the chart under, uh, let's see, under whey, we have 0 0.8. Um, where is it? 0 0.8 and b -b 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 yeah, 0 0.8. And then we're even comparing it to um, eggs. We're comparing it to beef. We're comparing it to chicken. We're comparing it to everything here. And we're still netting out. Like, we're even comparing it to fucking human muscle, bro. Like, this is whey protein is superior in cysteine content than all other protein sources. Like, there is a utility above it. Like, this is per 100 grams, 350 milligrams. Like, we're looking at 3.5 rather than, or 0.35 rather than relative to 0 0.8 for actual whey protein. So again, this is like in descending order of concentration as well among like high micronutrient rich food sources. So ultimately um, for getting your cysteine in, in a cost efficient manner, like whey protein, fucking potent precursor to glutathione, something that is otherwise um, highly useful in the current you know environment where people are prone to fucking infections and shit. Having the number one master antioxidant peaked out um, in all circumstances, you know, highly useful and doing that in a cost efficient way without having you circumvent the fucking black market to get cysteine now. <laughs> whey protein, highly, highly useful in a way that it wasn't even, you know, a handful of months ago. Uh, above and beyond just being a high quality fucking protein source that is easy to transport, easy to mix, um, on the go, doesn't need to be microwaved, eaten with a fork, none of that shit. So ultimately, I don't know what Cali Muscle is getting at. Like it has so many uses in a even a high quality diet model like i think that a lot of people aren't getting enough protein in and getting in this will backfill um certain amino acid um vectors that otherwise are going to be deficient in a manner that could otherwise compromise your immune system compromise your muscle protein synthesis ability um lots of different shit above and beyond the standard you know what's the best bodybuilding thing 
So again, obviously the best thing, you know, from a broad spectrum amino acid intake, you know, micronutrient density aspect, whole foods are the best, obviously, from all aspects. But again, there are certain utilities of it above and beyond, just like the fact that it's protein in a fucking scooper, that makes it useful to implement. Now, he is essentially asserting it's dangerous though too, not that, and that it's underdosed so severely that you're basically getting fucking bent over anytime you buy a tub from somebody which I think is really, really interesting and ironic given the fact that he is, not only is he saying you're gonna get ripped off, but above and beyond that, he's saying that you're literally like going to hell pretty much <laughs> if you sell supplements because natural shit, you know, does good healthy stuff doesn't come in a bottle. Well, let's continue. I go high. Yeah, because I walk real mine upper chest. And you come all the way to the Everything slow, you gotta pump. I'm getting a lot, so I just want to pump. I'm not gonna go too high. Everything is meticulous, man. All right, well, I guess that's the end of that. But in this video, in the actual video, he talks about supplements. That's made in the lab. Like, I'm on meds, and they tell you it got side effects. I don't know why y'all motherfuckers sell these supplements lying to people, bro, just to make a buck, man. Like, could you have said a more ridiculous fucking sentence? given what you sell bro like how is that hyphy organ bro tell me about the hyphy organ let's listen to the breakdown and the uh, marketing spiel we know you're out there living that hyphy life so you better be taking hyphy organ let's actually go down here get the full description designed to help we know you're out there living the hyphy life so you better be taking new hyphy organ hitting the gym hard eating big meals like we do taking all the subs drinking hyphy mud the pre-workout that is you know so much better than fucking protein somehow you're looking, not that it's not protein, by the way, but it's like, if you're taking fucking pre-workout that's like heavy loaded with stims, heavy loaded with shit that's going to give you acute sympathetic drive enhancement, like, is that actually necessarily healthy in the short term to be redlining your nervous system? You know? Artificially instigating a state of fucking fight or flight relative, relative to a protein powder that is going to backfill your glutathione stores. And it's otherwise a highly fucking well-tolerated, easily digestible, well-assimilated, high-quality source of protein that's an actual fucking macronutrient versus synthetic stimulants mixed in a lab to crank your fucking nervous system up. Hmm. Now let's get into hyphy organ. Look, we know you're doing your best to do everything right, but sometimes it's hard to know exactly what to take. So we developed hyphy organ. Everything, everything you need in one bottle. So you can look as good on the inside as you do on the outside. Hyphy Organ is designed to help you digest better, feel better, and believe it or not, even look better from the inside out. Yeah, bro, you can't make this shit up. So he's saying people are pieces of shit for selling protein, supplements are garbage, you're going to hell if you fucking sell them, um, and they're terrible for you. Yet he sells literally something not only designed to support fat metabolism, assist digestive enzymes, assist liver detoxification, literally to pro actually provide organ support. But above and beyond that, he literally says in the marketing, everything you need in one bottle so you can look as good on the inside as you do on the outside. So asserting that this Greek God physique, you know, you want your insides to look the best. So all you need to take is this, bro. You don't need an angiotensin receptor blocker to, mod to modulate your blood pressure and direct androgenic signaling in the fucking cardiac tissue. You don't need a beta blocker to lower your fucking tachycardic heart rate from cranking fucking hyphy mud and weighing way too much. You don't need fucking lipid modulation to prevent atherosclerosis and prevent that 100% blockage you got. You just need fucking hyphy organ, bro. Sold on hyphylife.com. Free shipping over 100 bucks, bro. Yeah, that's the same guy trying to fucking tell me in this video that you're a piece of shit for selling protein. If a motherfucker in the motherfucker, a scientist in the science lab, anytime you're in a lab jacket, it's bad. Anytime you're in a lab jacket, it's bad. Now, remember that video where he said he spent fucking 10 years perfecting his testosterone booster in the lab? Good shit, bro. Those were good times. Let's take a look and uh, revisit that video ourselves to see exactly, uh, exactly what he said there. That hyphy test, man. All y'all that need to uh, boost your testosterone, want some bigger muscles, more energy, libido strong. This is it, man. I've been working on this for 10 years. Been working on it for 10 years, bro. 
Not in a lab, presumably, you know, because that's bad. You're not in a, you know, manufacturing facility or a packing facility for your supplements that were made in a fucking synthetic way. This is all totally fucking natural shit. The bottles, the bottles don't apply to you. If it's bottled by somebody else, it's fucking horrible. But if you bottle it, this is fine, right? Please tell me more. I don't give a fuck with nobody. If it don't come from out the ground, off a tree, an uh, animal on the f wild, it's bad, bro. I don't give a f what you talk about. Okay, so I guess you better shut down your whole website, bro. Because none of this shit, you just fucking slammed your entire business model. Go wild, extreme pump, fucking hyphy organ. The only organ support you need to stay healthy while you crank the fuck out of gear and use <laughs> and eat a highly inflammatory diet, you know? Like, it would be one thing if you had organ support too, but then to assert in the marketing everything you need in one bottle so you can look as good on the inside as you do on the outside. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. You gotta be kidding me. And then to come out with fucking this in your video. Motherfucker, they're trying to protect that protein powder, man. Water make a buck. Just tell the people, it ain't all that good for you, but it does have something it could do. If you can't eat it, it suppress your appetite, but it's bad. You gonna piss me off, bro. Trying to defend protein powder. That's like weed dealers right now. Tell you it ain't bad. But here it is, they pouring all these chemicals in it. Oh, but it ain't bad. Yeah, it ain't bad for your pockets, mother to make some money. It just sickens me, man. Supposed to be one, you know, person I had respect for. Doing a video, replying to my video, said protein, ape, like, it, it's good. Shut the fuck up, bro. So, please explain to me how it's bad. Like, are you gonna assert the artificial sweeteners are going to give give you cancer? Like, what what is the thing that is so you're fucking allergic to dairy? Like, what like what are you asserting here, bro? Like, I don't. <laughs> it's not a like literal classical whole food, sure. But again, it's a supplement designed to supplement a diet where you are deficient. You know, would you rather be deficient in fucking cysteine and be more prone to infections? I don't know. Like, would you rather not have as much, uh, I don't know, if you're an old person and you fucking don't want to get your protein in through any other means because you just don't like eating meat or you're a vegan or whatever the fuck and you need it to prevent sarcopenia at that point, is it still unhealthy, bro? You got, you better not fucking take it because Cali Muscle said so. You need, you know what you need to stay as healthy on the inside. You need hyphy organ, bro. When you're fucking 70 years old, that's what you need. Actually, you need hyphy mud and hyphy organ. Let's see what else we have down here. We have, um, actually, let's see this uh, production line here. That looks super natural, bro. Very, very not synthetic. Order yours now. Extreme pre-workout, extreme recovery, which I'm assuming is just a fucking amino acid blend at the end of the day with the same artificial sweeteners you're gonna find in fucking protein powder to begin with. <laughs> the irony is fucking ridiculous, bro. Hyphy test. Let's literally, now again, what was even in this now that I'm trying to fucking remember? He had a tribulus, he had, I'm pretty sure he had a fucking aromatase inhibitor in there too. It's trying to tell me about this shit that's fucking healthy for you. Goddamn ridiculous, dude. Don't be jealous, stack. <laughs> um, super multi. Um, like, why are you not getting your fucking micronutrients through foods, man? Like, whole foods is where it's at. Do you really think it's ancestrally consistent to get a mega dose of fucking vitamins through a pill in one shot? Do you think it has all the necessary cofactors for absorption? Do you think that there's not going to be competition inhibiting one of these vitamins from the absorption of one another or depleting one from an overabundance of it in one fucking dose acutely? Did you think about any of that, bro? Maybe you should just sell fucking food on your site, bro. That would probably be probably be better. Grass-fed, grass-finished fucking red meat. That's what you gotta be selling on your website, bro, because that's all you can fucking take at this point, given what you just said, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, man. Going against the grain, bro. <laughs> you do. One of the old men. Yeah. Hey, we go. Hey. No, no. Hey. All right. So here, let's talk about superhuman supplements. December sixteenth. Hyphy Mud is the revolutionary new way to maximize your energy. 
Raise your testosterone to maximum muscle growth and perform at your highest level with Hyphy Test. So hypothetically, if I had a perfect circadian rhythm, um, I got you know sun exposure in the morning, I uh, avoided fucking blue light at nighttime, um, my diet was dialed in, it was ancestrally consistent, I got all my micronutrients through whole foods, I had great high quality relationships, all these things, why do I need fucking hyphy mud, bro? Like, please tell me, because every all you need is natural stuff. If it's in a bottle in a lab, it's fucking trash, and the person selling it should go to hell, right? Increase your focus to outperform the competition with hyphy brain. <laughs> Clean your insides to function properly with hyphy organ. Clean your insides to function properly. If I have a 100% blockage, is that going to help me, bro? Like me... Like the assertions in the marketing claims are fucking absurd given what this is. Like say what it is, but don't go over the top. Be like, this is all you need. This will clean out your insides. Like no, it fucking won't, dude. Your goddamn haw Hawthorne berry bullshit, your milk thistle, etc. It's not going to be the end all be all that's going to prevent cardiac remodeling. It's going to prevent kidney disease. It's going to prevent liver fucking hepatotoxicity. Some of this shit can help in some aspects, sure. But it's like a lot, a lot of this stuff is like just misleading as fuck. And then for him to come out, it's one thing to sell this stuff because some of it does have utility. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying this stuff is useless either. Like, I think EAAs have their place. I think um, certain testosterone boosting ingredients may be useful for those who are trying to avoid getting on lifelong TRT and otherwise want to seek natural interventions. Um, I think pre-workouts are fucking great for those who want to acutely boost performance or had like a shitty night of sleep and want to not experience a drop in performance at, you know, the gym as a consequence of that, you know, life happens. And sometimes you need a fucking supplement to supplement your goddamn life. But when you have shit like hyphy organ and saying stuff like it's all you need, it's the all in one thing, cleans out your insides, makes you totally healthy, blah, blah, blah. When you yourself are like completely shitting on the idea of any sort of thing in a bottle, synthetically produced, anybody who sells it is like a poor, ethically immoral human like i don't get it bro the the fucking paradoxical messages being sent here and the marketing is just absurdly over the top so maybe you want to revisit that given you know the current events that have unfolded but like certainly trying to assert that somebody and you know people who follow you follow this lifestyle you know highly inflammatory foods taking fucking gear they look look see your physique get inspired by it they want to fucking sauce it up too they take hyphy organ thinking it's going to prevent them from getting hurt when they're on fucking cycle. Is it going to? Is it really going to move the needle? Or do they need actual fucking medications, bro? Do they need actual diagnostics and preventative medicine? Like, be fucking responsible about your marketing, dude. Absolutely absurd video by Cali Muscle. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm and are much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow my Instagram at moreplacemoredates, Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, not BitChute. I was so pissed I fucking said BitChute. TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. Preventative Medicine Clinic. If you want to get high quality medical oversight to prevent yourself from developing atherosclerosis, cardiac remodeling, fucking left ventricular hypertrophy, all of these things, like ultimately staying on top of your shit and having a high quality doctor is absolutely critical. And this is why I'm so prideful in bringing these services of America Health to the public getting the shit done before it's too late and staying on top of it and preventing the development of these things is absolutely critical and getting the proper ancillary medications if warranted for your own situation or the natural interventions, lifestyle changes, dietary manipulations, sleep hygiene recommendations, whatever it is, we're turnkey, we do it all. Check it out in the description below and anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.